मुंबई जहां रिजर्व बैंक के गवर्नर रघुराम राजन चालू वित्त वर्ष की चौथी द्विमासिक मौद्रिक नीति पेश कर रहे हैं will shift to working with the government to ensure that impediments to banks passing on the bulk of the cumulative 125 basis points cut in the policy rate are removed this includes amongst other things reviewing small savings rates the reserve bank will continue to be vigilant for signs that monetary policy adjustments are needed to keep the economy on the target disinflationary path Now we've laid out a number of other policies today. We have a medium term framework for foreign portfolio investment in government bonds with a target of allowing FPI ownership of up to 5% by March 2018. We'll also open FPI investment in state government bonds with a target of 2% by March 2018. Now altogether this implies incremental space of about 25 to 30 billion dollars of the next two and a half years of which 5 billion will open up immediately over the next 6 months the intent here is to create more room steadily to slant towards long term investors and to help develop domestic markets we've also opened to masala bonds uh, i think that's the name they called by these are rupee bonds and we intend them to have a minimum maturity of 5 years they can be issued abroad or they will be issued abroad for the moment they will come under the overall corporate fpi limit we will bring down the ceiling on slr securities held under uh, htm from 22% to 21.5% with effect uh, from the fortnight beginning january 9 2016 thereafter the slr and htm ceiling will be brought down by 0.25% every quarter till march 31st 2017 i should say 0.25 percentage points now we've in- announced increased participation by a variety of players in various markets in our ongoing efforts to improve participation and market depth we will increase the limit for resident entities for hedging their foreign exchange exposures in the otc market from us dollars 250000 to us us dollars 1 million without the production of any underlying documents subject to the submission of a simple declaration we're also going to examine the possibility of participation by financially sophisticated investors up to certain limits in currency markets without underlying exposure let me conclude these opening remarks the global environment is looking weak for a variety of reasons undoubtedly this is not good news for india because no country is an island but there is opportunity in even the worst news we can stand out as a country which still promises strong sustainable growth the possibility of realizing this opportunity should encourage us to redouble our efforts to implement our past announcements and to undertake new reforms the economy has legacy problems to deal with and there are no silver bullets as i have said repeatedly the government other regulators and the rbi i t- are turning around this economy through hard work through pragmatic policies that are not ideological but based on what works at the same time if you have to avoid the mistakes of the past policy goals have to be steady and predictable so that everyone knows where we are going and can make long term investments accordingly i hope these remarks help you understand the policies we have announced today thank you